When hey, so Nisbo. What's up, Nisbo? When somebody says, happy Friday, happy Tuesday, happy Monday, and you're not really happy, do you say happy back? Or do you say, fuck you and your happy Monday? I try to be positive. Well, he or I try to be positive. That's good. That I you try are to positive be positive. With My day sucked. My day really did suck. I had a horrible day at work. I'm not going to get into it, but it was just a terrible, terrible day. But I'm going to try to be positive about it. <laughs> no such thing. If I have a bad day, I want you to know about it. I want to... Hey, Cody Mead, how are you? What's up, Cody? I would like to share my experience uh, you know, with my I'm shitty day. I'm not going to share my experience of my shitty That's day. That's just me, though. I'm yeah, not just going me. to. But just know Why it was really shitty, can't... and I'm trying to be happy. <laughs> trying to be happy about it. Cody, this is your first time... Uh, no. Catching us live. He no. said happy to fi finally able to catch you live. So maybe it is. No, he's been on here before. We have a couple Cody's. We have That's a couple true. Cody's. That's true. Alright. We so. I've got a grilled chicken, blue cheese salad. It's very bright, I know. I do know. And then what I'm really excited for is ribs and cream cheese bagels with flaming hot Cheetos. Don't judge me. That's fucking good. It's good. I'm a firm believer that you can put pretty much anything on a cream cheese bagel as long hey, as it has a crunch. You're golden. Hi, Tan. You got a salad with pita? I do. I have your barbecue uh, ranch salad that I added chicken to, some tomatoes, some red onion, and then some pita bread for, uh, for fiber. Oh. It's going to be good. Then eat it. No, no vodka for Kathy tonight. Nah, hello vodka. All right, at least she told the truth. She lied. She's been drinking. Listen. I'm the Cody. As Tan always... knows, because Tan and I were talking. Oh, it's Cody that always comments <laughs> on the YouTube one. Cody, is, finally, this... nice to finally talk to you. This is us came back tonight, guys. This is us. If you've watched that show, it's an amazing show. And I don't want to give out any spoilers, but... It's very confusing. Let's just say... This episode was awesome, and you really need to watch it. If you're a This Is Us follower, and you missed tonight's episode, I will not spoil it for you. Check your DVR. Watch it. You know, Cody, Cody, you're a cop, correct? I'm pretty sure you're a cop. Hey, Mom, Sam. Mm-hmm. Remember that bullshit ticket? I feel ticket? like Cody is a cop. Remember that bullshit ticket I got for the license plate? Well, the cop didn't Damn put... Damn right, girl. The cop did not put down information for me to pay it, you know, where to pay it, my phone number to call. Nothing. So, Kaki was trying to do the research and she couldn't find nothing. So, I actually deliver um, FedEx packages to the state buildings, which is where traffic and blah, blah, blah is. So Hello, Kaki, Raphael. What's up, Raphael? So, Kaki's like, oh, Munchkin, these bagels are going to be freaking fire. Like, that's not even they me look exaggerating. Really good. They look so, awesome. Kaki's like, just bring the ticket. Show them and see what happens. So I'm like, all right. So I, I bring it to the cashier, the, the lady, and she brings me to a cashier. She goes, okay, so number one, you've got two unpaid red light camera tickets from 2012. I'm like, what? Seven years ago. Why well, don't we know about those, number one? And then <laughs> she told me the price. $240. I'm like... It wasn't my fault. The license, the license plate had wear and tear. She goes, it's not fixable. You have to pay it. I'm like, well, fuck. All I'm thinking about is it's me. It's not fixable. That's the DMV's fault for fucking wear and tear. All I'm DMV's thinking about is, fault. All I'm thinking about is October 11th is now in jeopardy. Me and Kaki's anniversary <laughs> getaway. Two hundred and forty dollars. That's our hotel room, guys. That's exactly what it is. <laughs> so what do I do? What do I do? I mean, you kind of have to pay the ticket. We have so to pay the ticket. So your license doesn't get suspended. So I'm not taking Kaki on a horse ride and luggage thing, majiggy in the park. No. Oh wait. And that's ridiculous. That's I mean, an outrageous ticket. Yeah, I know, Cody. It sucks. Yeah, it is an outrageous ticket because it's not our fault. It's wear and tear on the fucking license plate. That's technically not our property. It belongs to the state. Technically. Here, here's what I'm wondering. 
Does the cop know in advance, like, each yeah. ticket, how much it's going to cost? Mm. Do you think... Do you guys know the prices? I, I know every state's different. I don't think different. they do. Just like but the, technically, he never gave you a reason why he pulled you over, because when he saw you, he saw you from the front. Yeah, I don't know. He saw you from the front, he, which the front license plate wasn't the one that was peeling, it was the back. So he didn't know shit until he pulled out behind. It was a, it was a witch hunt. It was a witch hunt. He was jealous of my hair. He saw because... Jamie's locks and said, oh, that fucker, I'm pulling him over. What else could it be? <laughs> they know the money? They know the money, Pete? Yeah, so he's probably writing the ticket. He's like, I'm going to get this fucker. What did but I do? But here's the thing. He saw the car from the front. The front license plate was perfectly fine. It's over. There's nothing we can do about it but pay the man the money. Hmm. The next time the sheriff comes in, because we have a sheriff that comes in that gets prepared food, I'm going to question him on it. Ask him. I will ask him. I mean, like I said, there's nothing we could do. It's all said and done with until the money actually leaves my pocket and goes to... I'm going to ask him. Don't you worry. Whoever the money goes to. But even the clerk, like even the clerk at the at the courthouse today was like, just a fuck, she was a bitch. It's like, if you work at the DMV, why are you so mad? If you work you're in with a bunch of idiots all day. <laughs> if you work in traffic and in courts and all that in the states, like, why are you so mad all the time? Why Cause can't you, you smile? Because you deal with a bunch of people trying to beat a ticket. I don't get it. I don't get it. I got That's it. why. You deal with a bunch of people trying to beat a ticket. But in our defense... Okay. Criteria of the court. Like, for instance, it's one thing if you're at work, whatever that might be. And you're upset that you're there. Listen, I might work every single day, and I'm upset every single day that I have to be there, but I don't take it out on my customers. I don't take it out on the people that I'm giving Ten the packages to. Kaki, let me finish this okay. because I don't want to forget about this story, okay? Mm -hmm. Got it. I had to go to ShopRite today to deliver like seven boxes. Now, I deliver to the wax place. I deliver to the bank. I deliver to the nail salon. All next to each other. So I park in the front. I bring the packages in into ShopRite. I've been doing this for well over a year. Like, a year and a half. However long it's been since I've been with fucking where I'm at. This fucking bitch. <laughs> she goes, I'm like, I'm like, okay, seven boxes, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, name? And she goes, number one, you're not supposed to come through, through the front. And I'm like, I've been coming through the front for like the last year and a half. I said two years. She goes, I'm like, the managers know me. Everything is fine. She goes, well, the owners don't want that. Here's what I wanted to say. You should have been turned around and been like, you must uh, no, be new. No, no, no. I just said, okay, please have your name. Because she already signed for it. She already signed for it. What I wanted to say was, this is my last $5 in my pocket. I want to give this to you to go get some cream for that nasty shit you got going on your lips. She had, <laughs> I'm not even playing with you. She had some fucking nasty ass, whatever the thing, Imogene, was all over her, on the lips. That's what I wanted to say, but I did not say that. I was, I was, I was, I, I acted my age. Oh. It was disgusting. Well, damn you for acting your age. Can you imagine that? <laughs> Can you imagine that? If I came home, I said, Kaki, I got fired today. What'd you do? I told you that the same exact story. I gave this bitch my last $5 and told her to buy some cream for that funky shit on her lips. They fired me for it. <laughs> But at least you would get unemployment. <laughs> <laughs> would that be a... How, how fucking funny I would have would laughed. Be? I would have laughed. But technically speaking... This lady was so rude, Kaki, that I really did want to pull up ShopRite, ask for receiving... Good luck, And complain, and then say... ShopRite people are just nasty to begin with. No, no, I've never seen this. i never seen this lady. If it was owned by the Jensen's, the Jensen's are very nasty. I never very seen this nasty. lady. I just knew that she would she would answer the phone and receiving, and I would have complained. Not from FedEx, but I would be like I'd be like, excuse me, I like to make a complaint about the lady I talked to in receiving. She goes, well, who'd you talk to? I'm like, I don't know. I never seen her, but she got this nasty, funky shit on her lips. <laughs> she would have known. It was, she would have known she was to <laughs> we were talking about her. That's the kind of person I am. If you treat me... That's the kind of person I am, too. Like, that's just... that. You know, I'm sorry. I just... 
I don't like to treat people. I don't like to be treated like shit. And I don't think... And I don't treat people yeah. like shit. Unless yeah. they treat me like shit first. Mm -hmm. You get what you give in my book. Like, if you want to treat me like a piece of crap, it's guess the what? Truth. The chance that I get to give it back to you, I'm going to do it. And I'm going to do it way better than you did it to me. <laughs> That's just how I am. This lady had me pissed off all day. You're the same way, Tan? Hey, Pisces works for um, this for something in the. the she works for a while. Uh, Munchkin, I don't work full time. I used to work full time. Not no more. I pay the bills. I'm the sugar daddy. Listen, here. if I could work full time, I would. I can't though. You can't. I can't. You can't. Not. Why? What yeah. do you mean, why? We've had this. Who's, who's doing the homework with the kids? This dude right here. <laughs> Who's passing the kids through school? <laughs> I will do you one better. I will take the kids both out of school and go with homeschooling. We've done, we've had this conversation mm -hmm. before on it too. So if you're new to the stream and you'd like to chime in on homeschooling, Pete does homeschooling. It's very successful. I would like to think I'm a smarter man than fucking fasting bastard. So you know damn well that my you're kids not are smarter going. Than me. Uh huh. <laughs> Maybe if. Like right now, no. But if you give me a test, and you give Kaki a test, and you give us a data study. Guess will, who's going to pass? Me. I'll get a higher grade. Okay. I will get a higher grade. Kaki's very book smart. She is. But I am very dedicated, and if I want something, I fucking I'm, get it. I am very smart, actually. I Not just you, book smart. I wouldn't say you're street smart. Me, you, you go talk, you I go. never said anything about being street smart. What, what other smarts is there? I said I'm very smart. You That's said you're just not book smart. You're very smart. I said I'm very smart. Yes, I know. You said you're also, you also said you're just, you're not just book smart. What else are you? There would be street smart. I didn't say that. I said I'm very smart. You said something about not, you're more than just book smart. I said I'm very smart. You will watch the stream right after. You will. I said I'm very I was smart. Actually, homeschooled in sixth and seventh grade. My mom was in charge of all my assignments and keeping track of the. I really want. Wasn't that bad? You're not touching that, Pete. Mm. Well, Cody, I'm very smart, but I don't have patience. No, That's she does my not. Problem. I don't have patience. Cody, and look how good you turned out. You're a fucking cop. You're a man of the law. Your mom should be proud. I'm sure she is. Now, my mom, all my mom's friends are bragging about what their kids do. My son owns a construction company. My son has his own landscaping business. My son my is a son lawyer. It's on the internet. Oh. <laughs> oh, what does your son do? And she just changed the subject. She just changed the subject. Oh, Jamie bounces from job to job. He can't hold the job. Although, I've been pretty good the last five years. No, you years. hold the job. I've been, I'll give you that. You hold the job. I have been... You might not I've, like the job, but you hold yeah, the job. I've been pretty damn good on holding a job and um, keeping my shit together since Lucas was born. <laughs> oh, Pete, we could touch this. We could touch this. And I'm not saying call me MC Hammer either. I'm just letting you know. We could, we could touch the subject if you want to, you know. Actually, you work in a medical office. You're, you're like, you're... He works in a hospital, but don't challenge him. He knows terms we know nothing about. I know. No, 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 Pete. I'm not My son Jamie is breathing. <laughs> Pete, I know you did, I know you did a good job. I'm just talking about if, if you could do it. Everybody knows that I'm smarter than you. <laughs> So you say. All right, I'm going to be real with you guys. I'm not the smartest fucking cookie in the box, all right? I don't have the most chocolate chips in my <laughs> cookie. Other people have more chocolate chips in their cookie. But I make up for it. I make up for it. That's the truth. I will leave that there. This salad definitely needed more dressing. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. My salad's fucking delicious. I'm afraid if I go like this, and pick these up. I'm not going to pick this back up. Eat the veggies. 
Before you eat the protein. Every day he works for a heating and cooling place. You could do it too. Pete, I want to do it. I, 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 listen, I'm overruled when it comes to the homeschooling. Mm -hmm. If it was just me and Khaki, and this was my decision, and Khaki wanted to be a full-time, you know, full-time go to work, we could make something work. But the thing is, I'm overruled. I do. I overrule him. I'm sorry. It's I not just you. No, I overrule you. My mom, you don't rule me. I said I overrule you when it comes to that. Yes, I do. Nah, if I really wanted to and we were on our own, yeah, I could do it. No. Mm -hmm. I will not you. You don't make the rules. I do, though. No, you don't. Mm-hmm, I do. Fucking girl. Hey, Zach. How are you? Hello, Zach. Munchkin. Munchkin. How are you I, doing, Zach? Munchkin, when I take a bite of these bagels... First off, cream cheese and and uh, like ribs cream are very good. On bagels with anything is going to be good. Yeah. I do have a red pepper on here. I just want to finish the salad first, just in case I get full. I forgot how good this salad was. I, I like first it. got the salad when I was pregnant with Isabella, mm -hmm. and I bought it just to try it. I'm not even hooked on it. Not only did I get hooked on it, Jamie got hooked on it. <laughs> it's true. Khaki contributed to me getting fat. No. Because the salad is okay. Because he took a salad and then dumped a bunch of shit into it. It's true. <laughs> it's okay, Zach. Can't say long school sucks, but hope you guys have a good... Thank you, Zach, and I hope you're doing well in school. It's way more important than our stream. I want you to do well in school. Jimmy Jam. Jimmy Jam. Jimmy Jam, did I say hello to you? Did I even see you come in the stream? Probably not. I was jibber jabbering. I said hello, Jimmy. But did I say hello to my thunder um, buddy? I don't know. A hot Cheeto. Yes. Any type of Cheeto and like... Cream cheese is always good. Even Doritos and cream cheese. Doritos and cream cheese are good too. Ranch Doritos and cream cheese is, is amazing. Ranch Doritos, nacho Doritos, sweet chili Doritos, blazer Doritos. It doesn't matter. It's all good with cream cheese. Let's just be real, okay? Anything you put on a sandwich when it comes to chips is going to be good. You were jibber-jabbering, Mr. T. Oh, it's not like I was As usual. It's not like I was talking about my mama. Actually, I was. A little bit. <laughs> I don't have any more dressing, Isabel. This is special dressing from an Italian restaurant. Pretzels with cream cheese is good too, Cody. I've done that. Fritos with cream cheese is really Fritos good. Fritos is probably the best. The thing about pretzels is I've I never been a pretzel fan. Never. I love pretzels. Unless it's doused in chocolate. Mm-mm. Pretzels and ice cream. Or it's a dough. Like, that is the only... Pretzels, vanilla ice cream, oh, and man. caramel. Oh my god. So good. You know when's the only time I eat pretzels? Is when I get that bag of party mix. And they sneak the fucking pretzels in and buff up the bag. Take out more <laughs> of the good shit. I love pretzels. Pretzels are like my probably like no don't my even favorite say it over the no my favorite snack. I love pretzels. You love pretzels over mm -hmm. over chips, yeah. You are. Why don't you ever eat them then? I like pretzels with ice cream. You missed what I said. I said I like pretzels with ice cream and caramel. I heard that for it. Mm-hmm. Spicy Doritos in the in your salad. And I do have some vanilla ice cream in there. The well, kids have like little packets of pretzels that, <laughs> from the original pack we bought. All the pretzels were left because they don't like pretzels. Yeah, to my kids. <laughs> and then we have some caramel. I don't blame you, Pete. And I've been thinking about doing something with those. Like fuck button, I have Mr. T jabbing. First thing, say it quick. Jimmy Jabber. Why don't you go outside and play hide and go fuck off? Listen, I don't use the buzzards enough 
we should really use them more. I think we're going to be getting another buzzer. Not this weekend, next weekend. My son is mentally challenged. He fucking hates public schools with extreme hatred. I do not like public schools either. See, but I will give my kids until... Um, I, don't, I don't mind public schools. Because... They do have diversity. Is there hatred? Yes. Did Lucas get kind of bullied last year? I yes. know what you said, Jimmy Jim. Lucas did get kind of bullied last year. But when you sit your child down and you talk to them, you say, it's not your fault when you get bullied. It's somebody else's fault because they're pissed off and they take it out on you. Would you agree? I don't. We, well, no. Yes, I feel I like think if it, it's I, not his fault he got bullied. No. It's somebody else's fault because they're pissed off and angry and they take it out on somebody else. Well, let's and see I went how, through the public school system and I turned out just fine. My plan is to be doing well enough next year to take Lucas out of school. Isabella's going to do the first three years like he does. And then Duh. either go private or me do it myself with khaki because if I'm doing so well that I could afford that that means khaki does not have to go to work I'm sorry he's going to school. oh you want to go to work okay he's no he's going to school okay we do not have to have this discussion right now ah! fuck me no thank you <laughs> I get hit because you spilled your drink uh-huh. Well, you need a glass to break. What was that? My seltzer. Please, it's not vodka. No, seltzer. You got taken care of? Wait. My son did get bullied this year in first grade. On the playground, my husband called the school. It got taken care of. Yeah, you know what? If you're a parent... And you find yeah. out your kid is getting bullied or whatever. The first thing you want to do is, no matter what age they are, you just want to go up to the school and kick the little fucker in the head. <laughs> no, see, what I want to do <sighs> is call up the parent and give them a piece of my mind because it's obviously their fault. And then it's awkward for parent-teacher conferences and and knowing khaki. It's, it's the parent's fault. No, I'm sorry, it is. Usually when you meet the parents, you can tell... Okay, they get this from this. Well, we never met that child's parent because they sent him with a friend. Who? You know who I'm talking about. Bonus slap with some face. Uh, off the top of my head, I do not know the name. I'm not going to say the kid's name on here. But I know the mother and the day that she walked by me, like when kid she. Kid that walked... looks like Mowgli? Yes. <laughs> kid that looks like Mowgli. <laughs> I just saw the kid. I just saw the kid yeah, uh, yesterday going to meet the teacher. All right, it's bagel time. Oh, did you? I didn't see him. Yeah, he looked at me and like just put his head down. Mm -hmm. I'm like, I don't that's want what, that. That's what he did to me, too. I don't want a kid to be afraid of me. They got three oh, times no. the money for and a that's special. The sad, and that's the sad part, is that he's afraid of adults. Jack, and do jack shit for him. Such BS. So, but you love it. The other kid were, were nice to him. Yeah, I don't care. I, You know what? Kids are fucking mean. We know that. And you know, and kids that's just mean because we were all kids and we all know how mean yeah. kids can be. Like I'm not I'm not happy, you know, about what I'm I'm not happy with what I'm about to say, but I was a douchebag too. I and a, I was an asshole as well. But we knew that we about were. you. We oh, knew yeah, that about you. I don't hide it. Alright. But I was made fun of as well, so that's why I took a bite I'm like, this shit is nasty. Don't ever eat it. No, it's good. It's really good. I think, and if you tell me that you were not a douchebag in school, I, I believe you. I'm not going to, I'm not going to judge you, right? Uh, I will say. Thing. Whenever I was in high school, you were all, you were an asshole in some way, to somebody. Maybe. No, there are good. Even if you didn't realize it, you were Probably an asshole. Just a little bit to somebody. I was an asshole a lot. A bit. What I'm saying is, if you were... I was were, an asshole in middle school. I wasn't an asshole in high school. Yeah, but how I raise idea for you, Jamie. I think you'd love it. And we'd find it. 
You're an ass kicker to, to kick it to mm -hmm. Munchkin? Exactly, Munchkin. You were bullied, and now you don't take shit. It built me up as a person. Jimmy Jim, I'm listening to your idea. Now, just remember, what I might think is funny, what you might think is funny, the buzzkill over here might not think it's so... So you hit me enough already tonight. I didn't do anything. All I did was move. That's when you know it's bad. When I can't That's even all go, I need to do is move. I can't even go like this without flinching. That's a sign. That's a sign she fucking beats me. You guys always yeah. think Meanwhile, I'm Meanwhile, he playing. punched me in the nose, guys. Mm -hmm. Look who hit who. I'm good. <laughs> about to hit you in that nose again. Do it. What are you doing? It's a fucking chill clobbered you. <laughs> Who's moving in there? Isabella. No. No, you don't put up with shit from anyone. Exactly, Munchkin. I wish I could go back because I didn't stick up for myself as much as I should have when I was in school. And I got made fun of a lot. The main reason that I got made fun of was because of my, you know, my handicap. My, 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 you know, I'm not handicapped, but I was double, I'm double jointed. And the kids were, re were really, and I've talked about this before, kids were horrible to me. Teachers were horrible to me. This is not good. Hands, I don't take shit off anyone. No, no one should take shit. Pete, here's the thing. No one should take any shit from anybody. Like, if somebody does not like you, or somebody talks crap to your face, I think it is your right to just straight up smack them in the fucking face. Here's the thing, I don't take shit from anybody anymore. <laughs> I Set take shit straight. from nobody. Set him straight. You could poop from his throne. I think Wait, on Halloween. You could poop from his, th from his throne, ride his bike, and order East Village. What the fuck did I, I miss? Know. Oh, read his last year. What do you mean? I know, I like? have it. I think on Halloween, dress like Blake again. Kathy like Jenny. But this time, stream from their kitchen since they're in Miami. You could... You could probably poop from his throne, ride his bike, and order his village. <laughs> you know what? We probably could. I don't think Blake and Jenny... That would be funny as shit. It would. And trust me, that would be cool to eat from, from there, you know, from Blake's home. But I don't think Blake wants Jamie and Kaki in his kitchen while he's in Miami. Mm. I think it is. Oh. <laughs> it could make for some good, for some good videos. It'd be, it'd be really good. We could do like... Blake's in a brand new kitchen. As are we, but we're in Blake's kitchen. That'd be funny as shit. We go right into Blake's kitchen? <laughs> It is a nice kitchen. Uh, and his sure. kitchen looks awesome. I think that'd be funny as fuck. That'd be hilarious. All right, these are very good. I'm happy I did not do three because I'm starting to feel it. I'm starting to feel it. Hey, uh, Ben, if you're still sticking around for this stream, you still you know in here. I want you to know that, and I think you should be proud of me. All right. Yeah, Ben. I ate my veggies first. For the case in point, if I got full of this, I didn't waste veggies, I wasted the carbs. But this is very good. So is my salad. Mm. Hey Lance, why did that Blake I move? He's going to Miami for the winter. He'll be back. I'll be back next summer. Next spring, technically. You'd pinch Munchkin's cheek? Hey Pete, would you pinch my cheeks? I know you want to nibble, you want to pinch my cheeks. <laughs> Do I look like the man that has those kind of cheeks like the little boy has? Like, she's going to look at those cheeks. Do I have those cheeks? Mm -mm. I don't. Why not? You don't have a fat face. I used to have a fat face with yeah, like me fat too. lips. I used to have a fat face, too. Hallelujah, the fat face is gone. Another, another thing that I'm not going to be liking you about me getting home later. Because I, I, I have no, no like, 
motivation to go to the gym after a long day. By the time you get home, I cook the kids dinner. I know. I have no time to go to the gym. No time. Or to even, like, work out. I have no time. Well, we gotta figure something out. Uh, yeah, we do. Seven months to make up fly for me. No makeup. Oh. Halloween is is right around the corner. We need to get cracking on our our costumes. Our hotel stream October eleventh mm. will be in New York City. Hopefully. Hopefully. We don't know just yet, but October eleventh, New York City. Me, Khaki. Um, that's probably it. A anybody's welcome to come and hang out. If we even make it there, who knows? We'll see. <laughs> Right now, I would say it's about, like, odds are like 8 out of 10. We'll make it happen. We need it to happen. We need to get away. We need to get away. We need East Village Pizza, more importantly. I need some cheesy knots in my life. Well, what's the game plan for that? Are we going to do cheesy knots? Oh, I'm getting cheesy knots. Kaki wants cheesy nuts. You heard it first. Not nuts. Nuts. Alright. If there's cheesy nuts, I think that's disgusting. I just, it sounds like it would be. Cheesy nuts. Uh. As in garlic nuts. Not cheesy nuts. Because that's just, no. That's gross. AJ said he would go, but I highly doubt it's enough time for him mm -hmm. to, to get off the proper, you know. Papa Bear, I don't know what's going on with Papa Bear. Papa Bear's working. He's working, he's running, he's doing his thing. This is us tonight because he's working. He watches that? Mm -hmm. He says he'll watch it tomorrow. And I said, you're killing me. <laughs> for Monday cheese? I at least got to no. talk to Tan about This Is Us because I don't want to ruin it for nobody. But. No, Lance. That's not something you would bring up towards dinner. <laughs> Speaking of dinner, what did you guys eat? From the cheese. Oh, yeah, I think that's what he's getting at. <laughs> the nut cheese. <laughs> that's not what I was. No. Nut cheese. <laughs> I knew somebody was gonna go there. I was just waiting for it. What did everybody eat for dinner? We do not have to talk about dirty no. nuts. Oh, Pete blew me a cheese kiss. from under my nuts. Yeah, no. No thanks, Lance. I'm good. I would like to hear everybody's dinner tonight. You know how bad I wanted to do pizza tonight? It came close. It mm. came really close. Chicken fajitas are bad. Chicken fajitas. It's such, you can't go wrong with chicken fajitas. You really Almond can't. flour, chicken tonight, and salad. Mm hmm. Pass with marinara mixed with shredded chicken breast, peppers, onions, and mozzarella. Salad and garlic knots. Sounds good, Jimmy. Hell yeah. It was kind of similar to what, what I had last night. Grilled cheese and tomato soup. That's one of Kagi's oh, favorites. Oh, I love that. Grilled cheese and tomato soup is one of my favorites. I make that for the kids all the time. They love the shit up out of it. I'm not a soup person. Tomato soup. I'm a sucker for tomato soup. I'm a I sucker. I love tomato soup and grilled cheese. I'm a sucker for grilled cheese and SpaghettiOs. You can take that as it being a soup. Had pancakes, eggs, and sausage. Well, Cody, that just sounds fucking marvelous. It really does. A nice warm pancake with some butter melting over it, some hot syrup. Mm. I made Lucas an egg sandwich with turkey sausage and some tater tots. And he ate the whole freaking thing. I bet he did. And he didn't complain once. All right. Bagel number two. And there goes Lance with his cow shit. Oh, no, hey, no. little girl. Hey, girl. Lance, please. No cow shit tonight. No cow shit tonight. Maybe that's what he had for dinner. <laughs> Could it be what he had for dinner tonight? Who knows? Uh -uh. Hold on. I really don't want to choke on this bagel because Real it's so cheese and good. brown gravy. I've never had that, little girl. I have. Grilled cheese and dip it in gravy. 
Never had that. It's also like, what is it, poutine? Am I saying that right? Broccoli cheddar soup and potato bacon soup. Broccoli cheddar soup. <clears throat> I love broccoli cheddar soup. So do our kids. Our kids look yeah. broccoli and cheese soup. I like I like the, 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 the broccoli cheddar soup from Subway. No. Campbell's. I've been searching. Campbell's broccoli cheese soup. You can't find it anymore. Mm-hmm. You probably can. You're just not looking good enough. I search my store, and I search Stop and Shop. They don't have it. So I bought a can of cheddar soup, and then I bought a bag of broccoli florets, steam in the bag. And I yeah, I made the soup according to like the package, where a can of soup, a can of milk, and then I cooked the broccoli, and I chopped it up, and I put it in the soup, and I mixed it all together. <laughs> And the kids are looking at it like, this isn't the broccoli cheese soup. And they're just looking at it. Mr. Lori, hello. Or Lori. And I'm like, just taste it. You know, they ate the crap up out of it. No more cow talk. Thank you, Lance. We can talk about other shit. Let's... They ate it up like it was nobody's business. And they told me it was better than the normal broccoli cheese soup. And all I did was add fresh broccoli. Well, not fresh broccoli, but like... It was a can of cheddar cheese soup and a frozen can of broccoli. Frozen broccoli that steam in the bag. As long as they're eating the vegetables. That's that's the whole point. They ate it like they had seconds. They asked for more. How's the rib meat? It's good. It's very good. It's going good with the cream cheese bagel and the Cheetos and homemade. I'm happy with it. Potato soup with bacon, but yeah, that sounds delicious, little girl. Is it as good as a hash brown? On cream cheese bagel, <laughs> the no. The cows in the barn, to, yeah. But the cows in the barn, Lance. Thank you. It's Appreciate still... that. Jamie, need to follow the page. Boys who can cook, they're hilarious. They can, they can't cook. You'll live. Yes. I can cook though. Yes, though. So I've. <laughs> you sent me a couple of um. Jimmy, Jim, you sent me a couple of links from there, and I actually did scroll through their page, and it's quite hilarious. They cannot What is cook. it called? Boys can cook? Boys can, boys can cook. <laughs> but they can't. But well, I can't. But if you watch it, it's funny. It's really funny. Do I watch The View? Tell the truth. I don't watch TV. I don't TV. even watch The View. I hate The View. When I tell you the only TV I watch is wrestling, that's the only TV I watch. The Unless only, it's a movie only... like... Um, Bohemian Rhapsody, where if Khaki's got low and order on, and I'm editing a video, and it's on, and something catches my, you know, my eye, then yes, I'll watch it, but I really do not have TV shows. The only shows. Caddy bitch I listen to is myself. Sorry, the view is just terrible. Khaki watches, she's got a whole, Khaki does watch TV. Yeah, but all summer long, I barely watch TV, because you were watching wrestling and whatever else, but... Wrestling and Bohemian Rhapsody. Yeah. You know, I watch TV like when my shows come back. Chicago Fire, Chicken Chicago Hanshaw Med. Has, yeah, all khaki shows come back, which means... This is us. And I don't know Lawn what we're going to do SBU, about Monday. Hell yeah. That's uh, Thursday. Tomorrow night, Chicago Fire, Chicago Med, Chicago what, PD. What time is it on tomorrow night? NXT's eight on and eight. nine. Yeah, that's not happening. Eight and nine. And then, I'll, go, I'll go in the kids' room and watch right. it. And where are the kids going? <laughs> I'll go in the living room and watch it. Here's the thing. Mondays is occupied. That's my TV time because that's I don't real. have shit on, TV on Monday. Tuesdays is SmackDown, depending on what happens with the whole brands. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, it's safe to say that it's going to be my night's for the Survival TV. of the fittest. Flip a coin and suck it up. That's what it's called. No. Flip a coin and suck it up. Either that or cook your own meal. That's fine. <laughs> Number one, Wednesdays is going to be difficult because Wednesdays will be NXT and uh, I'm not worried AEW. about Thursdays. No, Wednesdays, I said. I'm going to have a replay. Oh, wait. Is that... Well, Jimmy Jam, I'm going to do what I used to do and switch back and forth. Number one. Number two, I is WWE doing the NXT... The first hour is on TV, and then it goes to the network.
I was shocked about that last week. I didn't know they were doing that. NCIS. I don't watch that show fast and bastard. I feel like I would like it though. NCIS? If I got into it, yeah. Turn into those is both soup, essentially tor tor tortellini soup. It does sound good, but my thing is, I don't like baked potatoes. Tortilla soup. soup, not tortellini soup. That's what I said. No, it's not. This is what I said. Um, watch. I don't watch American The Masked Horror Singer Story. or American Horror Story. I watched the first season of American Horror Story and I was not impressed. And The Masked Singer is the one with the goofs, right? And the mascots? Yeah. And you know what? Katie, my best friend, was always telling me, like, you gotta watch that show. It's such a great show. Uh, I didn't get into it. Yeah, I didn't think it was great. But. Yeah, I guess you have to follow it. That's the thing. You have to follow it's like a, it. It's like anything. But I didn't, didn't, it didn't interest me in any way. Seven, at AEW starts at 7? 7 to 9. 9 to I'm 11 a, replay. It's going to be interesting. I like that they're doing the WCW theme. It's called Dynamite. F is for family. On Netflix, yeah. I have no, I've never heard of that. It's kind of sad. Our son knows more about working the Apple TV and the Netflix than we do. Mm. Than you do. He knows more than me. I forgot. Tabby, you don't, but you don't watch it. I know. I don't watch Netflix, but I know how to get there and search for shit. No, it's not, Pete. <laughs> I bet you. I bet you. If you were to go to a pro wrestling event, whether it's televised or it's just you supporting your local pro wrestlers, you'd have a good time. If there's ten matches, I think that you would like at least one. Tan and her husband are like really into the math singer. See, no, I couldn't get into that. I watched like the first need, couple of episodes. I need to see a face. And I was just like, mm, I could go without the show. I need to see a face. I can't get emotionally invested in a fucking horse head. You know? That's just me. That's just me. of their voice. I just, I can't do it. I can't watch it. Hey. Same thing with the characters. Like, that's why... Hold on. That's why, like, when you watch a show long enough and your favorite, you know, person on the show dies, you feel like they really died because you, you're emotionally invested in them. You've been watching them for years or seasons or <laughs> whatever it is. When you take away... When you take away, like... That that eye contact, that you take away, you know, like you're not going to I get what Tan's saying. You have fun taking guesses on, like as to who it is. I well, that, that I can understand. That I can understand. <laughs> Look at the dog, right now. He just laid his head on my leg. And give me some, please. He's a hungry boy. Wow, this was the perfect amount of food for me tonight. Delicious. I have to wash my hands off. <laughs> it's salad. <laughs> I have salad, dog. Seriously, I got nothing good. There's nothing good on my plate that you want. I clean. I clean my plate. Do you tonight. want some kale? Would you like some kale? Get out of here. All right. I'm gonna leave the stream with Kagi. I gotta go wash my hands. For my last few bites of salad. No, I'll be back. I'll be back. I'm, I'm still hungry. I can eat still too, but I'm not gonna. <clears throat> I've been getting up the midnight hours the last two nights and been binging, so it's not good. Not me though. 
I got up last night and guzzled a 33 ounce bottle of water. What the fuck was for dinner? Well, Jamie had some sort of bagels with um, Pete. Well, fuck, Pete, if you were to clean your ears, you would hear me explain. Yeah, bagels. What I had, and I said it like three times in here, Pete. I said it like three times that I had bagels with ribs and cream cheese and flaming Hot Cheetos. Jimmy Jim, I read your soup before. Oh, oh man. I'm dumb. I have fried your soup before. What are you talking about? <sighs> I'm dumb. Go. Not only am I dumb, but I'm in pain right up here. Right up here, the bagel was a little bit too hard. Hey, enchiladas. I haven't had enchiladas in so long. Oh. Let me, here's a question. Who is going to sleep, like, within the next hour? Or who's going to, who, who's a, who's a, uh, well, we, we're going to bed, yes. <laughs> who's a night out? Like, who stays up to the wee hours? I used to be. Because I used to be that guy that wanted to stay up all night long, all night long, until 5, 30, 6 o'clock when the sun starts to come mm -hmm. out. <clears throat> And then go to sleep. I used to like to stay up after everybody went to bed. So I could watch my shows uninterrupted. Oh, yeah. How Yeah, you'd stay up late. Yeah. Tans because, and I, out. because I wanted to watch my TV shows without somebody interrupting me, somebody touching me, somebody asking me for something. Like, if you're a mom, you know what I mean. You just want to watch TV uninterrupted. And that never happens. <laughs> so you purposely stay up late to watch it. That's what I used to do. Tan, I used to be a night owl. I no, would I just stay told up. Jamie when my shows come on, don't talk to me. Yeah. <laughs> I did, I like I did to, tonight. I used to stay up when Khaki would go to bed, and then I would start watching, um, I would watch my show, <sighs> which was Dexter, mm -hmm. or Sons of Anarchy, and I would eat Khaki's ice cream. Oh my god, you would eat my fucking ice cream, it just pissed me off. And then when she was getting up for work, I was going to sleep. I would sleep all morning, get up. Oh yeah, when you were on disability. When I was on disability years ago. Years ago. That was before, before we had Lucas. Lucas. Before Lucas, I pulled my back out. That motherfucker would eat my goddamn punch and Ben and Jerry's. How long was I out of work for? Like a month? A couple months. A couple months? It wasn't a couple months. It was probably like a month. No. Really? It was like almost two months. It was a great time. Because you kept eating my fucking ice cream. It was a great and time. And that pissed me off. Because you never eat ice cream. Oh, I, I'm not a fan of just eating ice cream. He never ate ice cream. Until he saw my pints and Ben and Jerry's in there and started looking down on them like he had nothing better to do. Yeah. <laughs> while he watched TV. You ready for bed? Mm hmm Wow, that's a big delay. I know. Instagram is like a big delay. It is a big delay. All right, guys, we will see you tomorrow. I hope you enjoyed Bitch tonight's biscuit. stream. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed tonight's stream, uh, and we hope to talk to you guys tomorrow. Have a great night, guys. Have a good night, guys. And save and share. Good night, guys. Have a good night.